What up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and today I have a review of the Bandai Movie Monster series, Godzilla Store exclusives, Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex. That's right, my zillions, uh, from the short film that debuted on Godzilla Day this year. We got Godzilla vs. Uh, Gigan Rex here, and, uh, you know, it was very highly stylized, as you can see here, um, especially with Gigan, more so than Godzilla, but before we get to them, they come with cards. We get a black card here for Godzilla, a red card here for Gigan Rex, and um, that's that's the bulk of the card. It's just a one-sided card. Well, it's two-sided, but like it's a it's not like a like a normal standard uh, movie monster series card which has pictures and stuff. Very simple. I, I'm very taken back by that, especially since these guys were like more expensive than the standard movie monster series figures. So. Um, you know, that, that, that's kind of weird, right? So, anywho, that's enough about the cards. Without any further ado, let's get to the review. And before we look at these guys in full, to help me do this review, I'm here with... Ultrazilla Jr. That's right, because Ultrazilla Jr. really liked Gigan Rex. Uh, the short, right? How many times did we watch it? What? Four? I think four. Four? I think even more than four, five. actually. Maybe five times. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna look at the articulation on these guys first, which isn't that much. Arms move on Godzilla, the legs move on Godzilla, and I think that's it. I don't think the tail moves, no. Tail does not move on Godzilla. Geiger Rex, probably the exact same things with the arms and the legs and the tail looks to be, uh, well, it's two pieces, but it's glued in. So Ultrazilla Jr., let me know what you think here because the thing I'm seeing first and foremost is the size. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like Gigan Rex should be bigger. Am I wrong? Was he small? How Smaller than Godzilla in the, in the movie? Hmm, I think he was bigger or just as big, and Godzilla just feels much bulkier and bigger than Gigan Rex. And right, because without the horn, it would be really small. Yeah, and not only that, but he was wider. Yeah. Right? That was part of the chunkiness and stylizedness of Gigan Rex, was that kind of big, and there's the regular Gigans in it, also which I believe are called what? Gigan what? Gigan Mile? Miles. Yeah. Um, and you can check out Wikizilla, actually. Uh, they just did a profile on them. So, yeah, it's it's weird. But anywho, I digress. Size notwithstanding. I, I think it's actually kind of nice. Yeah. The red plastic is interesting. It's fine. I, I think he should be, like, the horn should go over his head and not be, like, at the same size. Oh, you mean of Godzilla, yeah. Yeah, it should, like, go over his head. Yeah, maybe you're right. But looking at the finer details, uh, you see he's got a silver beak. And then he's got the... He's got like a purple, metallic purple in his eyes, which doesn't extend all the way to the ends. Which, come on, guys. It's this, very skinny. Yeah, like, extend it to the ends there. Like, really? You're charging us more for these particular movie monster series figures, and I just don't see why, like... You got gunmetal paint here, which looks good. The sculpt is pretty good. You got gold metal, gold paint here on uh, the claws, which I looks pretty good. The arms look have a nice sculpt to them. I think that's pretty nice because of the little lines, because he extends his hands. That's right, that he does. So it's 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 actually kind of good detail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the sculpt is really good throughout the chest and stuff. Um, but th I feel like there's still not enough paint here. Again, you got the silver. Uh, you know, in between the kind of like dorsal fins here, you don't get anything in the center. And then you got the gunmetal paint going uh, down here on the tail, which looks good. Gold and silver and gold at the tail. So silver on the bottom and gold at the top, which looks fine. I think the dorsal fins kind of looks like Godzilla's spikes. Like, mm, I don't know about that. It's just more stretched out. Yeah, I don't know. I'll disagree. I'm going to disagree on that. And you got a little paint here, some paint here, 
and the rest of the tail, uh, no paint, but I don't know. I don't know. Legs look all right. Silver at the bottom, little toe claws, but no other paint there. So, uh, the paint is good where it is. I would prefer the purple to extend there, uh, but I feel like there should be more to this. Yeah, this is, I think so too. Because, I, like I keep saying, they, they charged more for these. Like, 10 bucks more than normal for, for these guys because they were, like, from a special thing. But there's no reason for it. They didn't even give us a full card. And, uh, I don't know. That makes, that makes the whole thing more disappointing. As for Godzilla, we got basically the same thing going on here. You got the gray, charcoal gray paint throughout. I think it's just nice that they make a very detailed Little lumps on them. Yeah, I mean they're they're detailed for sure. The dorsal fins have go uh, gold silver throughout, uh, except at the very bottom of the tail, uh, and not on the outer edges, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I wish they were, but you know, the you know the detail here, the paint detail on the dorsal fins are pretty good overall. And like Ultra Zilla Junior said, this guy is pretty detailed. A lot of sculpt work throughout. There's no doubt about it, to the end of the tail, on top here, on the bottom of the tail. It looks pretty good, the legs. You do have a paint at the toenails, which looks pretty good. Legs look decent, actually, right? I think so. The arms yeah. look pretty good. You got paint at the uh, fingernails uh, as well. Actually, that's good, because I don't think they usually do the little paint at the fingernails. No, they do, they do. Oh. So... I think it's pretty good. The chest looks pretty decent. And the head sculpt on this guy. Let's zoom in. It's not bad. You know, this is what he looks he has like. He yellow eyes. Yeah. Um, and teeth. So if you didn't see the short, uh, this is a spoiler coming at you in 3, 2, 1. This guy's supposed to be Godzilla Jr. As an adult. All right, so uh, in those terms, I think it's pretty good. I think it, you could see that it looks sort of like a Heisei-ish Godzilla, but yeah, evolved but, into a little like, bit something different. The head. The head is yeah. a, little, a lot like that, right? If the head wasn't like rocky like that, it would look like Heisei Godzilla. Mm -hmm. I think. But that gives it a little bit of its own flavor, like he grew up a little bit differently. Yeah. You know, also, he was really hurt by Destroyer. Right? right? And then he sucked up all of Godzilla's energy. Uh-huh. So, um, you know, he, I think, I guess he formed a little bit differently as he got older. Or like, so maybe Tita he picked out alright. Yeah. And then he formed differently. Yeah. Proportions on this guy are, are decent. I, I feel like I could see this being Godzilla Jr. If you remember what Godzilla Jr. looked like. You know? In a way. So, that's not bad. I think it's pretty cool. And I love that little nod to Godzilla vs. Destroyer. You don't see that often, and I think the filmmaker did a great job. Now, the filmmaker of this, if you, you didn't know, he won a competition to uh, get this film done. Um, him alongside the, the Goji Band folks, and Goji Band, of course, has been around now for a while, but it took a, a little longer to make this one, and uh, it's cool. It's I think it's cool. I think, you know, the fact that they waited to release it during uh Gaigan's anniversary and Godzilla Day was a cool call and it's good to have figures of these guys uh will we have other figures of these guys maybe some SH Monsters oh, who knows maybe you'll make the models yeah I think yes I think they will definitely make the blue versions of Gaigan the Gaigan Miles um because it's easy to do you know, I just have to repaint this mold. It's the same exact thing otherwise. Yeah. So. But I think his, like, the, the lines on him are a little different. Maybe, maybe. But I'm saying they don't really need to. They could just repaint this guy. Yeah. Uh, for that and, uh, you know, get your, get their money's worth. But, you know what, it'd be nice to get our money's worth since we're paying for this <laughs> stuff. I do like these guys. I do. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But I am a little bit like, why did they cost more than normal. I don't, it, it's not in the figures, that's for sure. And for your size comparisons, here is Godzilla and Gagging Rex with a bunch of other movie monster series figures you might have in your collection. And our final thoughts, um, you know, <laughs> pretty much said it all. I think they're good figures. I think they look good. 
Um, but, you know, because they cost a little bit more, you know, it's just kind of a bummer that there isn't more here. Like, you know, some more paint would be good, some size on Geigen Rex would be better. I don't know. Um, I like them. I, I won't say they're the best that they could be, especially for the price. Hulk Little Junior, what do you think? I think I, I think I really like them. Yeah? What do you like about them? I like Geigen Rex. I like the way his claws look, mm -hmm. his, his dorsal fins. Mm -hmm. And that metallic color. Mm -hmm, the the uh, gunmetal color, it looks really nice, right? Yeah. And about Godzilla, I like that they added that much detail with the rockiness on him. Mm -hmm. And the color of his spots. Well, it's a good thing that you like them, Ultrazilla Jr., because I bought them for you. Because <gasps> I knew you really liked the movie. And of course, to review them too. But um, yeah, these are going in your movie monster series collection thank you all right and there you go guys that's our review hope you dug him and if you please like comment subscribe and share check us out on facebook and instagram till next time <laughs> peace out peeps man you get ahead of me